I'm from Good Train. Today, we are going to present the chapter 6, which is Products, Services, and Brands, Building Customer Value. I'm Lam Ling, entry number 262627. Hi, my name is Nicholas Wong, and my metric number is 276836. My name is Tao Kia Chin, metric number 277449. My name is Chen Ling, and my metric number is 278323. Hello everyone, my name is Heng Yi Xuan. My metric number is 278698. Hello, good day everyone. My name is Chong Hong Liang and my metric number is 279185. My name is Nika Dr. Fijikma and my metric number is 279580. Hi everyone, I'm Shao Tong An and the metric number is 279874. My name is Cheng Kawa, metric number 281113. Hi, my name is Pinky Lim Sin Ping. My metric number is 282032. First of all, in this chapter, we will learn about these few objectives. First, define product and describe the major classification of products and services. Second, Describe the decisions companies make regarding their individual products and services, product lines and product mix. Third, identify the four characteristics that affect the marketing of services and the additional marketing considerations that services require. Fourth, discuss branding strategy about the decisions companies make in building and managing their brands. Let's start our chapter by defining what is a product. Generally, Product can be defined as thing produced by labor or result of an action or process. Product is a thing that offered to the market and aim is to meet the need of the customer. Actually, product can be classified by their use, by brand or other classification as well. Product service and experience. Product can be classified as tangible or intangible. Tangible means that we can feel or touch the product like biscuit, car or shampoo. This means that tangible product is a solid product that allows us to feel it, touch it and use it. For intangible product, we cannot touch it but we can feel it and experience it. For those intangible product, we can define as service or experience. This type of products allows consumer to engage in fantasy, feeling and fun, and often carry subjective meaning. Now I am going to present about three levels of product. Product and service should be thought of three levels. The most basic level is the core customer value, which is what the consumer is really buying. It defines the core problem solving benefit or service that consumer needs. The second level is an actual product. The actual product feature, design, packaging, quality level and brand name are developed. Third level is augmented product. We bring in additional consumer service and benefit around the core customer value and actual product. Product and service classify into two broad class based on the type of consumer that use them consumer product and industry product. Consumer product are bought by final consumer for personal consumption. Well, Industry products are those persons for further processing or using in conducting a business. There are four types of consumer products. First, convenient products are consumer products and services that the customer usually buy frequently, immediately and with a minimum comparison and buying effort. They are generally low price and available when customers need them such as new paper, candy, and fast food. Next, shopping products are less frequently purchased. Customers carefully compare them on suitability, quality, price, and style. They will spend much more time and effort in gathering information and making compari comparison. For the example, furniture, car, and appliance. 
Third is specialty product have unique characteristic or brand identification for which a significant group of buyer is willing to make a special purchase effort. Buyer do not normal compare specialty product such as medical service designer got high end electronic. Lastly, also products are consumer products that the consumer does not know about or know about but does not normally thinking of buying. The classic example of this type, this type of product is life insurance, funeral service, and blood donation. And so products require a lot of advertising, personal selling, and other marketing effort. There are three good of industry product, material and part, capital item, and supply and service. Material and part include raw material and manufacturer material and part. Capital item are industry product that end in a buyer production or operation, including installation and accessory equipment. Supply and service include operating supply, repair and maintenance item and business service. Organization also carry out activity to sell the product and service itself. First, organization marketing, person marketing, best marketing, lastly, social marketing. Organization marketing consists of activity undertaken to create, maintain, or change the attitude and behavior of target consumer to work an organization. Corporate image advertising is a major tool company used to market themselves to various public. Person marketing consists of activity undertaken to create, maintain, or change attitude and behavior of target consumer toward particular people. Place marketing involves activity undertaken to create, maintain, or change attitude and behavior toward particular place. Social marketing defined as the use of commercial marketing concept in, in, to influence individual behavior to improve their well-being and that of social society. That's all from me. Thank you. Well, I will continue with 2.0 product and service decision. Organization marketing consists of activities undertaken to create, making or change the attitudes and behavior of target consumer toward an organization. Individual product decision. There is a flow chart, product attributes, branding, packaging, labeling and logos. And last one is product support service. Okay, for communicate and deliver benefits by product and service attributes, there is three, quality, features, style, and design. For product quality, refers to the characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy stated of implied customer needs. First one is total quality management. Second, written on quality. Third is quality level. Fourth is performance quality. Fifth is conformance quality. Okay, for product features, competitive tools for differencing a product from competitors products. Access based on the value to the customer versus its cost to the company. And style, style is describes the appearance of the product and design is contributes to a product usefulness as well as its looks. Okay, brand, brand is the main term, sign or design of a combination of these that identifies the maker or seller of a product or service. Okay, for example, a classic stand by former bargain footwear retailer pay less dramatically illustrated the power of brand in shaping perceptions. Fashion influence paid as much as $645 for Palacy shoes that normally sell for less than $40. Okay, last one is packaging involves designing and producing the container or wrapper for a product. Labels is identify the product or brand, discover attributes, and provide promotion. Product support service is argument actually products. 
customer service from the start under the Lexus Convent, Lexus high quality support service create an unmatched car ownership experience in some of the world most satisfied car owner. Based on just now, I think my group met already explained the meaning of something else about the product and service. So now, for my part, I want to talk about the product line decisions and the product needs decisions. Firstly, product line is a group of products that are closely related because they function in a similar manner, are sold to the same customer groups, are market through the same types of outlets. For example, a domestic company like Chanel, which is selling a product line of makeup products like eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, foundation, and so on. So one product line is under Chanel company. Besides, product line has different languages, long and short. For instance, the manager of company can decide the product line. If too short, manager can increase the product items to make sure the company maximizes the profit. Secondly, for product line length, there are two types which is light stretching and line filling. Light stretching is means lengthening the product line beyond the current range. For example, downward, upward or both ways are the range of light stretching. For light filling, it means adding more items within the present range of line. So, this is the example for product line decisions. You guys can take a look and understand it. Thirdly, are the product means decisions. It means that the decisions regarding adding a new or eliminating any editing product from the product mix, adding a new product line or bringing new variants of a brand to expand the business. For example, Chanel company have many product lines and it become a product mix decision. The product lines are bag, watch, comestic, perfume, and so forth. For more information, product mix is stand for product mix wipe, product mix deep, product mix length, and consistency. So this is the example for product mix decisions. There are many product lines become a one product mix. So that's all for me, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Nicholas Wan and today I'm going to talk about Topic 3.0 Services Marketing. First of all, there are three types of services industry. The first one is the government service industry. The second one is the private not-for-profit organization service industry. And the last one is the business organization service industries. Government services industry is an industry provided by government to people living within its jurisdiction, either directly or by financing private provision services. The example of government service industry is education, healthcare, public transportation, social services, etc. A not-for-profit organization is an organization that focuses on particular social costs and all the money earned or donated is used in pursuing its objective and meeting operational costs. A not-for-profit organization does not earn any profit for its owner. In many cases, they are not required to pay most taxes. The example of private not-for-profit organization are UNICEF, American Red Cross. Next service industry I'm going to talk about is business service industry. A service business is a company that provides certain profession support to its clients. Example are hospitality, transportation, law firm, and accounting firm. Now, I'm going to talk about four characteristics of service. The first characteristic is intangibility. Services cannot be seen, tasted, felt, heard, or smelled before they are bought. They are a light merchandise product. The next characteristic is inseparability. Services are generated and consumed simultaneously and cannot be separated from their providers. The next characteristic is variability. Service quality may vary greatly depending on who provides them and when, where and how they are provided. The last characteristic is perishability. Services cannot be stored or later sale or use. For example, ticket for the evening show 
of movie cannot be used for watching the next show. Next, I'm going to talk about three types of service marketing, which is internal marketing, external marketing, and interactive marketing. The diagram on the right shows the relationship between these three types of service marketing. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the service profit chain. The service profit chain establishes relationship between profitability, customer loyalty, the, and employee satisfaction, loyalty, and productivity. The diagram on the right shows the service profit change model. The internal service equality means the employee's job environment. If the job environment is good, the employee will satisfy and their productivity will increase. When their productivity increase, they will provide quality services to the customers. This will maintain the loyalty of the customer and at the same time, it will increase the profit of the organization. Hi, my name is Pinky Lim and today I'm going to talk about marketing strategies for a service firm. First of all, internal marketing. The overall purpose of so-called internal marketing is to ensure that all company employees understand that they need to cooperate fully to satisfy customer requirements in order to achieve the corporate objectives. How a company works with its customers in identifying, anticipating and satisfying their requirements is fundamental to obtain and retain their custom and money. Some example internal marketing efforts include educating employees on the company goals and values, encouraging employee input on corporate policies and leadership, allowing open dialogue and accepting any criticisms and nurturing communication and collaboration among employees. Next, another marketing strategy for service firm is interactive marketing. Interactive marketing is a one-to-one -one marketing practice that centers on individual customer and prospects actions. Interactive marketing involves marketing initiatives that are triggered by customers' behaviors and preferences. In services marketing, service quality depends on both the service deliverer and the quality of delivery. Service marketers have to master the interactive marketing skills. In these days of intense price competition, service marketers often complain about the difficulty of differing their services from those of competitors. To the extent that customers view the services of different providers as similar, they care less about the provider than the price. The solution to price competition is to develop a differentiated offer, delivery and image. The offer can include innovative features that set one company's offer apart from company's offer. For example, British Airways offers spa services at its arrivals lounge, at Heathrow Airport, and softer in flight bags. Next, service companies can differentiate their service delivery by having more able and reliable customer contact people by developing a superior physical environment in which the service product is delivered or by designing a superior delivery process. For example, many grocery chains now offer online shopping and home delivery as a better way to shop. Finally, service companies also can work on differentiate their images through symbols and branding. As an example, the Harris Bank adopted the lion as its symbol on its stationery. The customer-driven quality movement requires service providers to identify what target customers expect in regard to service quality. Service quality is harder to define and judge than product quality. Customer retention is perhaps the best measure of quality. Service quality enables a service firm to differentiate itself by delivering consistently higher quality than its competitors provide. For example, Southwest Airlines has a proactive customer communications team whose job is to find the situation in which something went wrong. The team's communication to passengers have three basic components, a sincere apology, a brief explanation of what happened, and a gift to make it up. Usually, a voucher in dollars that can be used on the next Southwest flight. Service shows that when Southwest handles a delay situation well, customer service quality rankings score 14 to 16 points higher than on regular on-time flights. Next. With their costs rising rapidly, service firms are under great pressure to increase service productivity. A service provider can harness the technology to make service workers more productive. However, 
companies must avoid pushing productivity so hard that doing so reduces quality. Attempts to streamline a service or cut costs can make a service company more efficient in the short run. For example, some airlines have learned this lesson the hard way as the attempt to economize by cutting back personal counter service, eliminating free snacks, and charging extra for everything from luggage to aisle seats. The result is a plane full of resentful customers. In their attempts to improve productivity, these airlines have mangled customer service. Brand positioning. Marketers need to position their brands clearly in target customers' mind. For example, Whirlpool can position with larger home appliance products on attributes such as quality, selection, style, and animation feature. However, attributes are the least desired level for brand positioning. Competitors can easily copy attributes. More important, Customers are not interested in attributes as such. They are interested in what the attributes will do for them. When considering a brand, the marketers should establish a mission for the brand and a vision for what the brand must be do. A brand is the company promise to deliver the specific set of features, benefit, service, and experience constantly to buyers. The brand promise must be clear, simply, and honest. Brand name selection. A good name can be equal to a product's success. However, finding the best brand name is a difficult task. It begins with a careful review of the product and its benefit, the target market, and proposed marketing strategy. After that, only a brand becomes part of science, part of art, and a measure of instinct. Desirable qualities for a brand name include the following. First, it should suggest something about the product's benefit and qualities, like beauty rates and Snapchat. Two, it should be easy to pronounce, recognize, and remember, such as iPad, Twitter. Three, the brand name should be distinctive. Four, it should be estimable, for example, Amazon.com begin as an online bookseller, but just a name that will allow explanation into other categories. Five, the name should be translated easily into foreign language. The official name of Microsoft Bing search engine in China is Bing, which literally means very certain to respond in Chinese. Six, it should be capable of registration and legal protection. A brand name can be registered if it influences on existing brands name. That's all from me. Thanks. Brand equity refers to a value a company gains from its name recognition when compared to a general equivalent. Brand equity has three basic components, consumer perception, negative or positive effect, and the resulting value. Brand equity has a direct impact on sales volume and the company's profitability because consumer gravitate to world product and service with great reputations. Often, companies in the same industry or sector compete on brand equity. An example of a brand with high brand equity is Apple. Although Apple's products are very similar in terms of feature to other brands, the demand, consumer loyalty, and company's price premium are among the highest in the consumer tech industry. Next, brand value is the financial work of the brand. To determine brand value, Businesses need to estimate how much the brand is worth in the market. In other words, how much would someone purchasing the brand pay? For example, Apple has powerful product and service to sell, but their brand value proposition helps them to create a marketing and awareness plan that resonates with their audience. Apple has long had a reputation as an innovative, forward-thinking brand. However, the company has seen a few hurdle on the way to success. Back in 1997, Apple was struggling to earn its shares of the marketplace, so they launched the Think Different campaign to clarify their brand value for their audience, employee, and shareholder alike. The Think Different campaign shows that Apple is focused on making the best, more creative product in the world while keeping technology symbol for the masses. The Apple brand's value identified the business as one that focused on quality over quantity. Major brand strategy decision is divided into four aspects which is brand positioning, brand name selection, brand sponsorship, and brand development strategy. 
Good day everyone, my name is Chong Hong Liang and this is my part, Brand Sponsorship. Well, Brand Sponsorship has separated into four parts. Manufacturer's Brand, Private Brand, License Brand, Core Brand. The purpose of Brand Sponsorship is to increase brand awareness or visibility, increase your sales or acquire customers, gain publicity, differentiate it from competition, increase brand loyalty, or premium prices, increase your CSR reputation or brand image, and protecting the brand name. Well, the next will be the brand development strategies. On the top side is the product category, on the left side is the brand name. Well, the existing brand name and the existing product category will develop the line extension. The new brand name and the existing product category will develop the multi-brands. The existing brand name and the new product category will develop the brand extension. And finally, the new brand name and the new product category will develop the new brands. Thank you, this is all on my part. It's come to the end of our video on chapter 6. Let's have an objective review for this chapter. A product is more than a simple set of tangible features. Each product or service offered to customers can be viewed on three levels. The core customer value consists of the core problem solving benefits that consumers seek when they buy a product. The actual product exists around the core and includes the quality level, features, design, brand name, and also packaging. The augmented product is the actual product plus the various services and benefits offered with it, such as a warranty, free delivery, installation, and maintenance. That's all from us. Hope you enjoy and learn something after watching our video. Thank you!